Ray, it's a, it's a pleasure to meet you. I've been a fan for a long time, and it's a pleasure to do an interview with you. So I wanted to ask you first about the last album. I mean, it's phenomenal. It's big. Thank you. So you write the music. I just wanted to ask you about what were the specific challenges? How, how was it different? Because you had to write the music. Did you write the music for the orchestras and the choirs? Or I wrote the music for the orchestra and for the band, but um, the choirs and the vocal lines is Hansi's thing. So yeah. um, I'm providing the instrumental stuff. Yeah. Um, how different was it? I mean, this is probably your biggest album musically. Yeah. Um, it's always uh, difficult. For me, nothing changes because I'm trying um, to um, develop with every album and of course <clears throat> after we did so many songs already uh, it becomes more challenging uh, to find new ideas mm -hmm. to find new improvements and um, yeah <clears throat> I like very much um, of the um, at the edge of time album um, this work with the orchestra so mm -hmm. I thought that there's more more space to improve and that's why I grabbed the idea of um, Sacred World or um, Wheel of Time mm -hmm. and started there, tried to build it up in a better way, songwriting-wise. Yeah. And that's how we, how we came up with Grand Parade. Um, I think uh, that was the most challenge, challenging uh, song uh, <clears throat> because we tried to combine um, the elements even better and even with more dynamics because an orchestra is losing the dynamics very fast if a metal band comes in mm -hmm. because the uh, rhythm guitars are always on the same level of course and they swallow the whole dynamics of the orchestra um, so you need to um, to have silent moments in the song that the orchestra can breathe and that's um, what we try to do that you really have the feeling at a certain moment um, it crosses the line and the orchestra takes over and um, then the band comes back in and all these experiments we did in the Grand Parade and it worked very nice. Yeah, yes, yes it did. You, you mentioned Sacred Worlds because when you listen to the album and the Sacred Worlds end and then you go back to Beyond the Red Mirror and you start listening to the Ninth Wave, it, it seems like one ends, the other finishes. It's yeah. just a con continuum. So, um, about your writing process uh, how are you do you work only when you're inspired or do you have some sort of a method where you sit down and mm -hmm. it's um, for me it's very free how I work mm -hmm. um, it depends a little bit on the mood but you get you have to create this mood by by your daily life mm -hmm. working on it I mean um, so sometimes it's good to um, to be in, in a silent um, surrounding mm -hmm. for, my, for me. I need this to be very silent and then um, I can create music. I, uh, and especially I like to work in the nights and, mm -hmm. uh, and of course um, the better your mood is from several things, um, the more creative you will be. Mm -hmm. Um, so you write the music, Hansi writes the li lyrics. Do you? No, work not only the lyrics. Hansi is writing the melodies of the vocals yeah. and working out the choirs. Yeah, uh, of course. More than just the lyrics. Yes, yes. <coughs> but when you write music, and do you first write the lyrics, or do you write the music, or is it some um, sort of a combination? Usually, usually I come up with um, instrumental elements, um, which have already a kind of song construction. It's not a finished mm -hmm. song, but maybe it's like already one minute of music. Mm -hmm. And I try to bring in already a certain uh, structure of building something up. And then I uh, deliver this to Hansi, that Hansi gets an emotional idea mm -hmm. of what I'm talking about. And then he's trying to grab the mood and try to find fitting elements for the lyrics and building up uh, melodies that fit to my harmonies, of course. Well, the process seems to work really, yes. really nice. Yes, it's very nice, yes. Uh, now, about your future plans, do you have ideas what you're going to do? Yes, this? we have very clear ideas. Um, the tour is going, continuing um, 
until December. Mm -hmm. So this year is only touring. Um, next year, uh, okay, no, not true. In the summer, we already um, uh, listened to all the recordings we, we did in the first part of the touring, and uh, we tried to get a live album together. Um, but we really have to see um, what quality the takes are and if we like it or not. So I wouldn't say anything specific. We are only trying to get a live album together in the summer. Okay. And um, next beginning of next year, yeah. it depends on, on Hansi's voice of the condition okay. because he will be a little bit worn out after 100 shows. Um, so then we decide if it's possible to do vocal recordings for the orchest orchestral album. Mm -hmm. And um, it would be really nice if, if we con could continue immediately. Um, otherwise, we will work on the instrumental parts of this album and work on the songs already. Uh, re maybe do some more orchestral recordings in Prague. Um, <clears throat> but we try to finish this orchestral album in 2016 mm -hmm. and release it in the beginning of 2017. Oh. That is the. No, that, that, that would be great because yeah. as soon as. I listened to Beyond the Red and Her, I said, damn it, I want more. <laughs> yeah. And um, beside this, we, try, we are um, working on, um, on a festival tour for 2016. So 2016, uh, 2015 we left out all festivals, mm -hmm. and 2016 we will only do festivals. Oh, that's, not, that's nice. Yeah. Um, a few more, few more questions, I won't take up too much of your time. Um, I was wondering, I mean, you and Marcus have been playing for a very, very long time now. Uh, who's better? Who's better? Is that a question? <laughs> <laughs> just, wanted, just wanted to check. <laughs> uh, okay, something completely... Marcus uh, is good, we are getting along very well, he is a nice buddy and... The awesome thing is, and that's why we are still together, we don't need to talk. I play something and he knows immediately what he has to do. Yeah. So this two guitar thing works blindfolded. It's really, um, he's an awesome uh, rhythm guitar player and my melodies wouldn't work so nice, my solos work, wouldn't work so nice if he wouldn't play so good rhythm guitars. So it's really yeah, hand in hand. yeah you, you two are a great team. I know whenever I would see you on the stage, it would be... A friend of mine who plays guitar said, it's unbelievable, they never make a mistake. We <laughs> try. Yeah. At least you don't hear them, that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said it's impossible, you can't be that good. Um, something completely unrelated to music. Um, you are a fan of Tolkien's work and everything, it has influenced you. So I wanted to ask you, what, what is your opinion on, on Peter Jackson movies? Um, I think um, I'd always try to look behind the scenes. And I think for the possibilities a movie maker has, and for the, um, I mean, there's always some rules you have to commit yourself mm -hmm. to if you want to be in the commercial business. And for this, for these, um, uh, compromises everybody would have to do. Um, he's doing an unbelievable awesome job because um, of course you could do a hundred hour movie from this book. <laughs> of course you could, but uh, who would pay this? Who would, uh, who would uh, really consume this? I don't know, but um, he had the form of three times three hours and what he put in there is outstanding for my visual thinking, mm -hmm. um, because it matches lots of ideas I had in mind when I was reading the books. Um, I, I know that many, many hard, hard, uh, die-hard Tolkien fans are complaining and complaining, why did he leave this out, why did he leave that <laughs> out? Uh, but um, I want to see somebody who's doing better than he did first, before I would say that this is not good. No, they are good. We just, I just wanted to ask. Yeah, I, I, a, a I, big fan. I love them. For me, this is really for a movie. Awesome, especially if you watch um, all three parts in a row. 
Uh, same with The Hobbit. Um, awesome. And um, yeah, I'm glad he did this masterpiece. Mm, great, great. Uh, just another question. I, I read that you were a fan of uh, computer games. Yeah. And that you like you know, Baldur's Gate 2 or the Warcraft. Oh, that's a long time ago. I'm more with Warcraft these days. Yeah, so you do you play? Do you get it? Do you get time to play? What yes, you I get. It's my drug. I yeah. Mean, yeah. So you play World of Warcraft? Or yeah, something? every day. Every day. Yeah. Uh, okay. Great. And I don't play, but now I'm. Um, how should I say? Tempted to go and find you and. Yeah. It. <laughs> Try. It's only 10 million players. You will find me easily. <laughs> yeah. Ex exactly. Yeah. I'm not even going to ask you for your na for your. Um, for your screen name, so you don't get the horde of fans yeah. running around. Actually, um, we did some events um, in the beginning of the year, and we played with uh, fans together. Um, we have a German magazine, and we are very um, big friends with them. They do a special mm -hmm. magazine only for World of Warcraft, and um, they organized uh, a quiz mm -hmm. game, and um, people could win a real raid with Blind Guardian. So Marcus and me, we played together with the winners uh, two evenings and it was really lots of fun. And um, so, yeah, I, th I think the people enjoyed as well. Yeah, because I, I remember that Sac Sacred 2, I think it was called, had a quest where people had to find tickets for your show. Yeah. Yeah, it was Sacred. It, it was, no, it's a, bit, a bit insane, but it was very fun. And just one last question for the end. Um, of course, you're a big band. You're a nailist band together with bands like Slayer or Iron Maiden. But how popular are you in Germany? I mean, oh, in Germany, we are quite big, yeah. Yeah, Com uh, compared to say some mainstream artists. I mean, does everybody know who Blind Guardian is? I think so. Yeah, in Germany, in the metal scene, yeah. Yeah, I think we are in Germany. We are the um, biggest metal band. If you leave traditional hard rock bands like Scorpions out, of course, Scorpions is still the name yeah. of German hard rock music. Yeah. But I think from harder music like metal, um, Blind Guardian is since Imaginations the leading position. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that's really all we wanted to ask. I mean, we could chit chat and all, but you have to get ready for the concert. Okay. So I wish you a great show. Thank it, you. It has been a pleasure and uh, that's it.